Hi everybody, I'm Jonna Georgia and I want to lead you through our week three Lent in a box or bag, depending on how it came for you. So first I'm going to read you a story. We'll talk about it, have some discussion questions for you to share with the other kids or adults in your home. And then we'll have a craft. You should have all the craft supplies in your Lent bag or box. And then um, we're going to pray and sing a song. All right. So I'm going to read to you out of the Spark Story Bible, the story of Noah's Ark. So if you have this Bible at home, you can get it out and follow along if you are a reader. Otherwise, I will read it to you. And it is on page 20. We're starting on page 20. <clears throat> Noah's Ark. A long time passed since God created the world. People forgot about God except for one man. His name was Noah. He loved and obeyed God. I am very sad that people have forgotten about me, God said to Noah. I am going to bring rain to flood the earth, lots and lots of rain. Build yourself a huge boat of cypress wood. Noah did just what God said and made a big, big boat with lots of rooms. Noah was 600 years old when he entered the boat with his wife, their sons, and their sons' wives. God brought two of every kind of animal to the boat. Ooh, there's one of those animals. That was just my dog, Wilson. I guess he likes stories about animals. <clears throat> Elephants and zebras, lions and tigers, pigs and giraffes, dogs and cats, deer and rhinos, bears and cows, horses and goats, lambs and monkeys, all came two by two. All different kinds of animals, birds and creepy crawly things came to the boat. Noah took all of them into the boat. Then the door shut behind them. Inside the big boat, the lions roared and the dogs barked. Oh, Wilson missed his cue. He was too early. And the birds chirped. It was stuffy and stinky. It was muggy and hot. On the outside, it rained and rained. It rained big giant drops and little baby drops for 40 days and 40 nights. The rains came down and the floodwaters came up. The water splashed on the sides of the big boat and pushed it up and down for 150 days. Finally, it rested on the top of a tall mountain. Noah waited and waited until God said to him, come out of, your, come out of the boat, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Noah's family and all the animals came off the boat. They put their feet on dry land. They ran and skipped and jumped. They twirled and danced in the sunlight. They thanked God for the land and God blessed them. Noah's family grew and grew. The animals and the birds and the creepy crawly things filled the earth again. God painted a rainbow, brilliant red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet across the sky and promised, never again will water flood the earth. Whenever you see the rainbow in the clouds, I will see it too and I will remember. The end. So some questions we have are, when was the last time you made a promise to someone? Pause your video and talk about that with the people in your home. The second question is, did you keep the promise? It's a good question. Pause the video and and talk about it in your home. The third question is, how did the other person remember the promise you made to him or her? How did the other person remember the promise you made to him or her? Pause the video. And the last question is, if you didn't keep the promise, how did you feel? If you didn't keep the promise, how did you feel? Pause the video and talk about it. Okay, those were good questions to think about. 
when we're thinking about Noah's Ark and the rainbow that God made to show that God would not do that again. So now we're going to get out our popsicle sticks and our glue. So you should have two of each color of the rainbow and then two kind of blank ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to glue my reds together like this and I'm going to do the same thing with the oranges and the yellows and the greens and the blues and the purple. Um, so I'm going to pause the video while I glue all that. Okay, so I glued all that. Let me see if I can show you what I'm doing here. So I got all these and then I'm going to take the um, regular popsicle sticks and I'm going to glue them like this across so that they'll all kind of stay together. Okay, so that's the next step. And if this has taken a while to dry, I put what I did, I'm putting a big book on top of it to give it, to hold it still so that it dries nice and good. And if your glue isn't quite working out for you, you might have to grab, um, maybe you have some Elmer's glue, the white liquid glue at home. That would work really well. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your cotton balls and you're going to um, put them on either end of your um, rainbow, kind of like the big puffy white clouds, right? And the nice thing about cotton balls is that you can stretch them out and make them even bigger and cooler. So we'll do that. And I'll have to grab some different glue because I think I need something else here, but I'll just show you what it'll look like. So that you have this rainbow and this is a beautiful image that happens after or during when it's raining, when there's a little bit of sun, right? That's when rainbows come out. And it is a reminder of God's promise. Okay, so I'm going to show you. Here we go. This is my rainbow. So I can always remember God's promise to us. All right. And I want to pray with you. And then we're going to finish with a song. So let us pray. God, thank you for the beautiful sky and rain and clouds. God, you love us so much, you make promises to us. God, help me keep my promises. Amen. So we read the story of Noah's Ark because we wanted to talk about rainbows. But something else that happens in Noah's Ark is well, we get to hear about a lot of animals, right? So I thought the song that we could sing would be about one of my favorite animals, the hippo. Will you sing the hippo song with me? the hippo and I love all of you and so does everyone at Norway Grove. We love you and we miss you and we hope you are safe and happy and healthy. And until next week for our week four lunch in a bag in a box. Till then. <laughs>